Hi guys and welcome to Fallout 76 and Southampton Estate where we're here to take on the quest An Organic Solution which we got from Ella in Ella's Bunker. If you haven't been to Ella's Bunker or you're not familiar with that, um, it's a quest called Early Warning is where I first did it. I'll put that card up in the top right of your screen now. So when you're done with all that and you have the Organic Solution quest, make your way to this point and we head into the house here. There's a recipe in that little box. There are one or two ants upstairs. They're not bad. Their defense is pretty high, but their offense is pretty low. So you can sit there and like swing at them or whatever to get the house cleared. Then head up the stairs. There's not much in the way of loot up here. Unless you need a typewriter for some screws or something. And over beside the bed, this is Ella. There she is. Hi, Ella. And if we loot her body, we find Ella's research. We open that up and we select Strangler Feed. That will add a new checkpoint. And we get a quest to collect bone meal. So next we want to install radio tracking. That allows us to properly track the bone meal, although I didn't make too much use of it. So to progress the quest, we now need to collect bone meal. Bone meal is something that you find with death claws, so that in itself may be a problem. <laughs> uh, my my map indicated that it was up here, so I fast traveled up to the location. There was a, de a death claw there and I kind of sat for a while and I wanted to check and see if it would go away, but it didn't. So I had to take it down with my sledge and we pick up the bone meal. So that one's easy enough. Other than the death claw, but you'll get through that no problem at all. It's a single death claw there. So it updates again. We need to collect some nitrogen, some phosphorus, and some potassium. So next, the indicator is sending us here to the chemical plant. Dryer chemical, or dryer chemical. So we head there. Now, this place um, had a few uh, different bots, assaultrons and whatnot, around. So I kind of cleared the, I guess, their external perimeter. There are still one or two around, but they're low enough level compared to what I'm used to taking. So, and I imagine they, they seem to scale. So you should be fine. And all the different markers are there. There's three different markers for three different things you need to connect. Collect. Well, good morning. So there's the nitrogen sorted. So just checking our mini map there real quick. Next, we can go over this way. There don't seem to be any robots that have spotted me because I'm still showing hidden status. Gonna go over here. As I said, it's straightforward enough. Nice location though. Lots of fun to come here for some XP. Um, I had a great time clearing it out. Oh, not, not well enough though. There are one or two still chilling. Um, as you can see, he's not doing me much damage when he does connect, so it's fine. There's potassium. And now we got to follow the mission marker to the final piece of the puzzle. This direction here, over into this building. Oh, I got caught up on a chair there. God, this guy really wants me dead. And it's just through here. We have... Is it? There it is, the phosphorus. We're waiting for the mission to update, which it does, and it says we need to deposit the chemicals. So there's a machine upstairs. I'm just double checking the map to make sure, but I can see the mission markers there up top. There's a machine upstairs to deposit them in, so we're gonna have to make our way up there. So up we go up the ramp. Up we go up the ramp. That, that didn't sound natural. Huh. Anywho, we're just gonna come around here. And if you access the terminal, it's pretty much just going to do nothing and say, hey, you know, can you deposit the chemicals? So that's what we're going to do. So if we highlight this here, it's going to ask for a catalyst. So that will be the bone meal. And then over here, the second one, it's for chemical insertion. Now, when I first looked at it, I thought, I hope there isn't a pattern to this or something. But then I said, screw it. It'll probably give us an error if there is some kind of pattern we need to use. So I just put them all in, in the way they presented themselves to me. No problem at all. So we're going to hit confirm, and then we're going to go down and hit flush. 
plush successful. Now we need to collect a strangler bloom. So we're given an area on the map, pretty large search area. So I'm just gonna leave this here rather than just cutting to me picking up the bloom, just so you can see where I found mine. So I just jump straight down. I'm gonna go out the door here. Hopefully I won't turn you around too much. So I'm kind of giving a look here to the left. The problem with anything like this is from the from the get-go, I don't know what it looks like. You know, otherwise you could kind of look forward and think, ah, there it is. I have no idea what I'm looking for. So right back to where I entered again. Now we're gonna check down here. I assume because we flushed materials into the water supply that it must be something that grows near the water and here it is on the tree it's kind of growing out there that's a strangler bloom so we're going to pick that up and the final piece of the puzzle is to create a rad shield at a chemical workbench i'm going to fast travel to my base to the chemistry station and we go down to healing i think it is and we have something called rad shield. You also will need one plastic, one purified water, and two antiseptic, but I already had those anyway. So we create it. And boom, quest completed, an organic solution. So now after finishing that, you have the blueprint, blueprint bleh, for rad shield, and you get a few goodies out of this as well, including three rad shields. So that's kind of handy. Hopefully you found this some bit useful. If you liked the video, please do hit the like button and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. Just hit my logo there in the center of the screen. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.